Exactly. Exactly. That seemed reasonable to me. I think the only question would, would have been whether or not Mercer was going to die as well. That was the only other issue. Um, when, when it comes to being in the costume, and you're saying that you have to over enunciate in order to get the look, and it's, it's difficult to hear um, what's being said, um, how, did, how did you kind of get around those challenges um, when, when acting, when you were in scenes with the, the other cast members? Because I know that listening is like a big part of, of acting. So how, how did you guys get around those? Those challenges where you have seen that you have to do that uh, it becomes really important to make sure you know the other people's lines. You know, sometimes when you get a script, you, you learn your lines really well and and uh, just sort of glance over what the other people are saying. You know, which and, and sometimes gives you a freshness on on you know on the film. But uh, with the, the heat on trying desperately to listen, you've got to know exactly what they're going to be saying. Um, I did all my rehearsals with the helmet off so that I could get an understanding, I could hear what the directors are saying, what the ADs are saying, just to, to make sure that I knew what was going on once the, the helmet would be on and then we'd do one final rehearsal with the, with the head on. And uh, by then you've got to hope that you've got it in your body and, and, uh, and you've know, got an understanding of what's happening. I mean, you can, you can still hear, but you really do have to be paying a lot of attention. And, um, and I guess the, uh, for the announcing, it really just became a part of the character. Kind of, once you put the helmet on, you just started talking like that. There was no sort of having to think about it after the first two while. Uh, got into your body somehow. I have a question for the whole panel. Um, was there any lines you guys had to read out over and over again that when you guys were doing other scenes, both lines just came out like that? Even though you guys already done the scene first. Like, were there any lines that you guys memorized by force that you were trying to see that line just came out? I don't uh, I'm, I'm well, I mean, for me, it's easy. I didn't memorize anything. <laughs> I mean, this is the first time, you know, uh, I'm here. Voice actor, memorize. What? <laughs> it's like one of the reasons, you know, like, I kind of got into it. Uh, I'll be honest with you, for me, for what I do, I mean, uh, you know, it's one thing if you, if you had the experience of being on the set and putting on... The, the costume and walking that set and being physically there, um, you know, that really helps to retain those memories. For me, I mean, you know, I don't remember individual episodes because the way it would work is they would go directly to my lines. I would have, you know, a script there. There were one or two types of scripts where they would have every line or they would just have my lines. And then they would just roll to the beginning of the line there's a, something called a beat track, beep, 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 and you get that rhythm on the fourth beat, that's where you start. Um, in the old days when they used to like do it by hand with a monkey and a squirrel and the little <laughs> reel and stuff, and like scotch tape, and they would actually take the tape off the reel and cut it by hand, and it was, it was like, you know, that thing out of the Geico commercials, it was really cavemen and stuff. Now, you know, they do it on a computer, and it's just, it's so easy. Um, but it's unfortunate because a lot of what I remember are the relationships that I had with the engineers and the director and, and the people and kind of, you know, my first exposure to hearing my voice on the, on the show. But like I said, I, I watched the movie, I totally forgot that I worked on it, <laughs> you know? So for me, the, the worst kind of question I can ever get is, what happened in episode 64 that made you so mad? You know? So it's a totally different experience, but I am a stage actor, so hearing these gentlemen talk about being in the, in the costumes on, on, on stage, I can only imagine that it's a lot closer to the experience that like, Anthony Daniels had when he, did, when he did Star Wars. You know, these guys were on, on the set, so the body remembers a little bit more. So I'm certainly interested to hear their answer to your question, because they're, what they're doing is like a, a different realm of, of the art, and so I'm like sitting, like you guys call, yeah, tell me more. <laughs> so please, tell me more. I'm still I'm trying to digest the I think his question was, were there any any lines that sort of became catchphrases? No, no, no I was saying, were there any lines that, that they kept doing over and over that they memorized themselves? 
Because with looping, you have to keep redoing a line over and over again. Well, the difference from what I understand is these guys had to memorize the lines. Whereas me, I mean, when I would redo a line over and over, it was because I was messing up. <laughs> okay, I just couldn't get the word colloquial. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Can you get the word out and out? And you, you'd be surprised. And like every now and then, I'll step away from the mic and I'll say, Neil, this is English. You've dealt with it before. <laughs> you know, because there are lines that just kind of get stuck. But for me, if I'm having a hard time recording it, the last thing I want to do is remember it. I really want to um, fix it. Like you guys call, yeah, tell me more. <laughs> so please, tell me more. I'm trying to digest the questions. I think his question was, were there any any lines that sort of became catchphrases? No, no, I'm saying there were any lines that, that they kept doing over and over that they memorized themselves. Like, because the, the, with looping, you have to keep redoing a line over and over again. Well, the difference from what I understand is these guys had to memorize the lines. Whereas me, I mean, when I would redo a line over and over, it was because I was messing up. <laughs> okay, I just couldn't get the word colloquial. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> couldn't get the word out and out, and you, you'd be surprised. And like every now and then, I'll step away from the mic and I'll say, Neil, this is English. You've dealt with it before. <laughs> you know, because there are lines that just kind of get stuck. But for me, if I'm having a hard time recording it, the last thing I want to do is remember it. I really want to let it go. I mean, my biggest thing is these days, I, you know, in between takes, I like to do Bullwinkle, so I'm looking for Bullwinkle lines. You know, so like I was doing a video game a couple weeks ago, and it was character line was, I strike from the shadows. So I said, uh, I strike from the shadows. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, that's, those are the lines I remember, you know, are the good Bullwinkle lines, you know. I will pull you home from your chest. <laughs> Fun thing! So, we still enough for you guys? <laughs> Any lines really stick with you long after filming? I think the uh, variation. The, yeah, the couple of lines have stuck with me and I guess become catchphrases and uh, we do have a little bit of freedom with the um, with just the voice characters, so sort of the, the devastations and the things like that, and in some ways nor because his mouth, while it moves, you can kind of put any words in his mouth. So there was a couple of um, catchphrases that, that I said once and enjoyed saying, so I kept trying to sneak back in. Um, there was the, devastation is bad, which I keep trying to do every time, time. <laughs> um, and Norms, I love sleds because that was just a, a one-off line and then I kept going, I could put in I love sleds here. And I just, every now and then just to piss people off in the booth where I just put one in and just go, Yeah, I love sleds! And then suddenly they would they're, they're keep it and they would turn up. So that's, yeah, I love, those are two that stick out for me that kind of still